Hey guys, I know it's two days before Valentine's Day and I'm kind of late to getting this out, but I still wanted to do it and I wanted to try a makeup look with brighter colors because I don't generally ever use color when I do my makeup. This is what I'm going to do on Valentine's Day. I'm not sure what we're doing. We might just stay home or maybe we'll go out to dinner or something, but regardless, this look can be used for pretty much anything, I think. It's not too bright, but it's still pink, and it's still festive for Valentine's Day. If you want to see how I got this nice, glowy, soft Valentine's Day look for Just Good Ideas, then keep watching. So I already primed with the e.l.f. primer. I'm going to take this liquid foundation and the BB Blender. Next, I take concealer. I essentially use this as uh, eyeshadow primer because I don't have any eyeshadow primer. I take my lightest powder and just put this under my eyes. And then I take this, and I just put it in the places that I get oily. I used liquid foundation today because I want it to stay in place, and I want it to look really flawless for Valentine's Day. I also don't want to put powder all over because I don't want it to look too matte. I want my face to look glowy still. I'm going to put on my eyebrows real quick and then we'll move on to eyeshadow. I'm using my Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil. I'm trying to keep my little mirror out of the picture because it seems to mess with the lighting. I think I need a different colored mirror. So I've already primed my eyelids with my concealer. I'm going to take a nude powder and put it all over my lids. All the way up to my eyebrow. Next, I'm going to take this gentle mineralized blush. And this is what it looks like. I want to do a nice soft pink look that's not too over the top because I'm not quite sure what we're doing for Valentine's Day and I want to be able to wear it regardless of where we're going or if we don't do anything then it's not a big deal. I also generally don't wear bright eye looks. It's just not really what I do. So this is kind of out of my comfort zone as it is. This color to try and tone it down. I want to tone it down but still have that pink. Next, this reddish brown color and put a little bit in the outer corners to darken it up a little bit. This again to try and tone it down a little bit again. I'm going to take this blush pink highlight. It's Wet n Wild Blossom Glow. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid. I have this zit right above my lips. 
And it's my single zit right now, so it's really bothering me. I really like putting a bright shimmer on my eyelid. That just seems to brighten up any eye look. Next, I'm going to take this color right here for an eyeliner up top. I do this when I don't want as harsh of eyeliner as liquid black eyeliner. Using the shadow as eyeliner makes it softer and smokier, so that's what I like to do for most everyday wearable looks. And then I add just a little bit on the outer corner, like a little tiny wing. That's too big of a wing. Using powder as eyeliner is also easier to fix when you mess it up. It's way more forgiving. And then I add a simple shimmery white to the inner corners. This is Crystal Avalanche. I'm going to skip over to contour and blush. I want this to look really glowy, so I'm going to use this. Soft and gentle. This gives me a nice soft glow and a little bit of color. After that, I'm taking Pink Swoon and just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. And then a little bit over the bridge of my nose. And since I already used the soft and gentle, I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of the highlighter and just put a little bit right there. And there. I totally forgot to do the lower lash line, so I'm going to take the brown that I used for eyeliner and put it on my lower lash line. I always do my mascara last because I like to set my face before I do mascara. This is my same rose water that I add aloe vera gel to. I need to get a real setting spray. I let that dry. That's my eyeshadows on my hand, by the way. I'm just trying out colors together since I never do bright colors. My L'Oreal Voluminous. Then I take the waterproof one and put a layer over it. This is the finished look. I'm probably going to curl my hair whatever day we decide to go out, but I didn't want to use the heat on my hair today since it's not actually Valentine's Day. But it's still wavy, so you can kind of get the idea. 